there's no better way to close the chapter on Crew Dragon than with something truly meaningful for the future of human spaceflight. C-213, the fifth and final Crew Dragon ever built. More advanced than any of its predecessors, C-213 is already rewriting space history with its debut on Axiom 4, the most ambitious private space mission to date. Imagine taking a brand new, high-performance supercar on a legendary road trip. Not to show off, but to prove what it's truly capable of. That's exactly what this spacecraft is doing. On this mission, C-213 isn't just a ride to orbit. It's a symbol of global progress. For the first time ever, astronauts from nations like India, Hungary, and Poland are making their way to the ISS aboard a commercial spacecraft. This one capsule is helping make orbital missions a reality for countries with big dreams and limited access. And it's not stopping there. C-213 is carrying more scientific payload than any previous Axiom mission. From biology to material science, the mission's packed with research that could shape the future of life on and off Earth. That's why the crew gave it a name that means something more than just a label. They called it Grace, a heartfelt nod to Dr. Ryland Grace, the resilient, brilliant hero from Andy Weir's project Hail Mary, a name that captures the courage, intellect, and calm determination needed to face the unknown. So today, in this episode of Tech Map, we're diving into the inspiring story behind Dragon C213, its legacy, its mission, and why Grace might just be the most important spacecraft of this generation. It's June 2025, and the Space Coast is on fire, figuratively and literally. This week we've seen not one, but two massive launch days, all before Thursday, June 26th. It showcases the sheer power and diversity of American spaceflight. The first headline grabber came with Amazon's Project Kuiper, launching aboard an Atlas V rocket, a daring move in its quest to rival SpaceX's proven Starlink network. Not to be outdone, SpaceX responded the very same day by launching 27 more Starlink satellites into orbit. Then just two days later, SpaceX stole the spotlight again, this time with a human spaceflight milestone. Axiom 4 launched toward the International Space Station, marking the debut of SpaceX's newest Crew Dragon capsule, known as C213. This fifth and final capsule in the fleet brings several design upgrades, from better storage solutions to improved propulsion systems, all crafted for greater reliability and reusability. For SpaceX, there was no better way to welcome this capsule than by sending it on a flagship mission with a diverse international crew. Think of it as taking your brand new high-performance car on an epic road trip to show the world what it can do. Initially, SpaceX intended Dragon C213 to enter service in 2024 for the Crew-9 mission. But delays in production disrupted that timeline, bumping its role to Crew-10 in early 2025. The mission's trajectory changed again when NASA decided to bring back Boeing's Starliner Crew Flight Test Team on a SpaceX Dragon soon. That move elevated the urgency of getting C213 ready, as it needed to fly Crew-10 to the ISS before Crew-9's astronauts, including Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, returned aboard Dragon Freedom. However, as launch preparations unfolded, it became apparent that Dragon C213 wouldn't be ready for its February window. That led NASA and SpaceX to pivot once more assigning Dragon Endurance, tail number C-2010, to Crew-10 and shifting C-213 to support the Axiom-4 mission. And so, in the early hours of June 25th, the historic moment arrived. Axiom-4 lifted off from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, with C-213, now in active service, riding atop a Falcon 9 rocket at 2.31 a.m. EDT. At 6.31 a.m. ET on June 26, the crew docked to the station. As tradition dictates, the honor of naming a spacecraft's first mission fell to its crew. Once in orbit, they unveiled the capsule's new name, Grace. The name is a heartfelt tribute to Dr. Ryland Grace, the central figure in Andy Weir's novel, Project Hail Mary. 
Dr. Grace is a brilliant, composed, and curious scientist who rises to meet extreme challenges in space. Those same attributes perfectly align with the goals and spirit of this ambitious mission and the international team carrying it out. It's safe to say Axiom 4 goes beyond politics or profit. For the first time ever, private astronauts from India, Hungary, and Poland are heading to the International Space Station. But this journey isn't just about reaching orbit, it's a giant leap forward for nations that haven't had a citizen in space in over 40 years. This mission is opening doors, inspiring new generations, and quietly helping these countries reignite their own space ambitions. Hungarian astronaut Tibor Kapu, part of the Axiom 4 crew, put it best. Their mission is about earning a seat at the table with the giants of space exploration. It's about becoming contributors to global science, industry, and innovation, not just observers. And this model is catching on. We've already seen it in action. Saudi Arabia relaunched its human spaceflight efforts with Axiom 2 after nearly four decades, sending two astronauts to the ISS. Israel used Axiom 1 to send Aitan Stibi, only its second astronaut ever into orbit, almost 20 years after its last human space mission. Turkey made history on Axiom 3, sending its first astronaut to space and declaring itself a new player in the space arena. The UAE took its program to the next level by moving from a brief Soyuz mission to a full-length ISS stay with NASA's Crew-6 aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon Endeavor. All these stories share one thing in common. SpaceX's Crew Dragon made them possible. From 2020 to 2025, Dragon didn't just change how the U.S. gets to space, it changed who can get to space. It lowered the cost, increased access, and made orbital missions more realistic for smaller nations with big dreams. In short, Axiom 4 is more than a flight. It's a symbol of a new era, one where space is becoming more international, more collaborative, and more within reach than ever before. Back to Axiom 4, the name Grace isn't just for flair. It stands for elegance, resilience, and a kind of quiet strength the exact spirit this mission embodies. Inspired by Dr. Ryland Grace, the unshakable hero of Andy Weir's project Hail Mary, the name is a perfect fit for a spacecraft leading one of the most scientifically intense missions in private spaceflight history. And intense might be an understatement. The Axiom 4 crew has just 14 days in orbit, and in that time, they're set to complete 60 scientific experiments. 60. That's over four major experiments every single day. For comparison, Axiom 1 did 25 experiments in 15 days. Axiom 3 pushed it further with 54 in 18 days. Axiom 2. Numbers aren't clear, but it was lighter. Axiom 4, it's on another level. These experiments span everything from biology, understanding how the human body behaves in microgravity, to advanced materials science and Earth observation. Think of it as a floating laboratory racing the clock, with the crew juggling multiple projects that each require setup, execution, and documentation in the unforgiving environment of space. Anyway, if you loved this deep dive, smash that like button, hit subscribe and ring the bell. We're aiming for 150,000 subscribers, and we need you to get there. Check out our other videos on Starship, Artemis, and more, and let's keep exploring the cosmos together. Now let's rewind to before launch, because the road to liftoff wasn't smooth. Originally scheduled for June 11th, Axiom 4 hit a string of delays that tested everyone's patience. First came high-altitude winds, powerful enough to force a scrub. Then a leak in the Falcon 9 launch vehicle halted things again. But the longest and most complex delay came not from the rocket, but from space itself. Specifically from the ISS. One of the station's oldest modules, Zvezda, has been leaking air for over five years. It's been stable, until recently. In the days leading up to the launch, NASA noticed unusual pressure readings, suggesting the leak's behavior might be changing. That prompted a launch delay as they monitored the situation. It wasn't until June 23rd that NASA gave the green light, confirming a new launch date 
but without a full resolution or update on the Zvezda issue. So Axiom 4 launched into orbit with that lingering variable in the background, proving once again that space travel is never simple and that every mission brings new challenges. But now, Grace is flying. And with it, the hopes of dozens of researchers, the momentum of international collaboration, and the weight of an ambitious science schedule, unlike anything we've seen in private space so far. This isn't just a mission. It's a masterclass in pushing boundaries, with poise, precision, and yes, a whole lot of grace. Speaking of the success of Axiom 4, I can't help but mention the contribution of many nations and organizations in the space industry, including both private and public. First of all is Axiom Space, a private company headquartered in Houston. Axiom Space organized and conducted the Axiom 4 mission. Peggy Whitson, the mission commander, also serves as the head of Axiom's Human Spaceflight Division. The company is focused on building an off-Earth economy. SpaceX acts as the launch provider, deploying its Falcon 9 rocket and the latest Dragon spacecraft to transport the Axiom 4 crew to the International Space Station. As said, the Dragon capsule was named Grace by the Axiom 4 astronauts. The firm also handles crew recovery, relocating recovery efforts to the U.S. West Coast. It will be SpaceX's second West Coast crew recovery, following a shift from Atlantic Ocean or Gulf recoveries due to the potential for spacecraft debris surviving atmospheric re-entry and crashing back to Earth. Third, NASA. This National Space Agency provides the Kennedy Space Center, KSC, as the launch site. Oversaw safety monitoring, delaying the launch due to a leak in the ISS's Zvezda module. According to Dana Weigel, ISS Program Director, the Axiom 4 mission expanded the scope of scientific research by involving multiple nations, organizations, and academic institutions. NASA astronauts Anne McLean, Nicole Ayers, and Johnny Kim, part of the ISS Expedition 73 crew, will work and live alongside the Axiom 4 astronauts. Axiom's Director of Human Spaceflight, Peggy Whitson, is also a former NASA astronaut. Next one, India. Pilot Shubhanshu Shukla became the first Indian to reach the ISS as part of Axiom 4. As a member of the Indian Air Force, he was selected for ISRO's upcoming Gaganyaan mission, India's first crewed spaceflight slated for 2027. NASA's Whitson noted that such commercial opportunities are helping to advance national space programs like India's. For Hungary, Tibor Kapu is the first Hungarian astronaut to visit the ISS. Hungary's space program, HUNER, supported 25 out of 60 experiments conducted on Axiom 4. The initiative aims to gain a foothold in the global space community and contribute to international space research and industry. The mission is also strengthening Hungary's national space ambitions. The next country is Poland. Sławosz Uznanski Wisniewski became the first Polish astronaut on the ISS. Poland and the European Space Agency, ESA, jointly supported 17 scientific experiments for the mission. Uznanski Wisniewski is a member of ESA's 2022 Astronaut Reserve class. The mission helps drive Poland's national space strategy forward. Together, these contributions underscore the Axiom 4 mission as a truly global effort, bridging commercial innovation with national pride, scientific research, and shared exploration beyond Earth.